Hi, Mr. Richards here, and today's lesson is on growth and decay. Now, we have an equation for exponential growth. Our equation is y, which is the final amount, is going to equal a, the initial amount, times the quantity 1 plus r, where r is the rate of change expressed as a decimal, to the t power. Let's see if we can use this. In 2008, the town of Flat Creek had a population of about 280,000 and a growth rate of 0.85% per year. Write an equation to represent the population of Flat Creek since 2008. Well, we can start off with y, which is our final amount. And we can say that is going to equal a, which is our initial amount, and that was 280,000 times the quantity 1 plus our rate will start off at 0 0.0085 to the t power for years. Now, it can be a little tricky here. This is 0.85%, so let's not overlook a small little detail. Since it is still percent, we do need to move our decimal place over two spots to the left to get this into our decimal form, which is why it's not just 0.85, that would be 85%. It's written as 0 0.0085. Now, we do need to finish simplifying this, which is simply saying, okay, y equals 280,000 times add those two numbers up in the parentheses to get 1.0085 to the t power. Now, according to the equation, what will be the population of Flat Creek in the year 2018? Well, 2018 is 10 more years, and so we'll go y equals 280,000 times 1.0085 to the tenth power. When you take that to the tenth and multiply it by 280,000, you'll get about 304,731 people. And that is our answer. Now, compound interest is interest earned or paid on both the initial investment and previously earned interest. It's an application of exponential growth. And so our equation for compound interest will have A is the current amount equals P, which is the principal or initial amount. And then this is where it's just a little bit different. We have 1 plus R over N, where R is the annual interest rate, and N is the number of times the interest is compounded each year, with T being our time in years, and this is to the N times T power. So... Knowing the formula and knowing how to use it is important. When Emily was born, her grandparents invested $1,000 in a fixed-rate savings account at a rate of 7% compounded annually. Emily will receive the money when she turns 18 to help with her college expenses. What amount of money will Emily receive from the investment? Let's start off by writing our formula down. A equals P times the quantity 1 plus r over n to the n times t power. And so a will equal the principal amount, which is $1,000, times 1 plus the interest rate was 7%, which as a decimal is 0 0.07. It's compounded annually, so it's only compounded once per year. So for n, we can say... 1, and then this is going to be to the 1 times, our time is 18 for the 18 years. So as we work to solve this problem now, we have 1,000 still on the outside of our parentheses. The 0 0.07 divided by 1 is just 0 0.07 plus 1 is 1 1.07. 1 times 18 is just 18. And when you take 1 and 7 hundredths to the 18th 
and multiply it by 1,000, you get $3,379.93. Not bad for just putting $1,000 in the bank. And our last equation is that for e exponential decay. Now y, again, is the final amount. A is the initial. Then instead of going 1 plus r, this is going to be 1 minus r to the t power. So really the only difference between our growth formula and our decay formula is one we're going one plus r, the other we're going one minus r. So our, our example, during an economic recession, a charitable organization found that its donations dropped by 1.1% per year. Before the recession, its donations were $390,000. So our first step is to write an equation to represent the charity's donations since the beginning of the recession. Well, we could have our y still equals the initial amount, which was 390,000 times 1 minus our rate, and our rate here of 1.1% as a decimal can be represented by 0 0.011 and that's going to be to the t power. We don't know the time yet, so we can just keep it t. And then we do need to simplify that into y equals $390,000 to the 0 0.989 to the t. And now we get to use this. Estimate the amount of the donations five years after the start of the recession. So we'll use the equation y equals $390,000 times 0 0.989, and that's going to be to the fifth power. And after I take 0 0.989 to the fifth power and multiply it by 390,000, we have a solution of y equals $369,000. Sixteen dollars and about seventy four cents. And that's our solution. So that's it for this lesson on growth and decay. Good luck.